thanks for coming, everyone. Welcome to the first um, card making class in over a year in person. I mean, I have been doing it online. Thank you for those of you who have been watching that. Um, I'm excited to see everyone again. Uh, I see some familiar faces and a few new ones. So hope you're all as excited as I am. And just before we start, does everyone have a pair of scissors? And a little uh, piece of tin foil with three dots of paint on it, a golf pencil, a white piece of cardstock, and the letters high. So that's that's all you need for this card. Okay, now everyone has everything. So we'll get started. Walk back here. Scissors. So the class um, is, we have the projector here. So um, I, I think it's really wonderful because you can see closer up, I don't know what I'm doing. So it makes it a lot easier. Um, so this is the card that we're going to be making. Um, it says, hi, and you see the, the dots um, around it and um, by overlapping the dots closer to uh, more concentrated where the high is and going out, it gives it a nice kind of burst effect. And um, basically what we're gonna do, you're just going to cut out the letters high and just with a very small amount of um, glue stick, just like, we're not gonna put a ton of glue stick on, just like a very tiny little dab just to hold it in place. And then we're going to get the golf pencil and dip the golf pencil in the paint on the, the not the pointy side, but the, the, the base of the pencil to get those dots. So we'll, we'll do it together. Um, so what you're gonna do first is get your white cardstock and you're just gonna fold it in half. Then with your scissors, just cut out the letters H and I. So I'm just going around carefully. A tip I just cut out uh, the general area and then I, I go in with the scissors and get in those little cracks. Does anyone need help cutting out their letters? No? Okay, so I'm gonna show, I know the H is a little tricky because there's those um, the spots um, in, closer to the center where you have to really get in there with your scissors. So one trick is that I find it easier to cut in those tight spaces. Instead of turning your scissors, you just turn the paper instead of the scissors and that really helps to get the cut where you want it. I don't know if you saw that, but I'm just turning the paper. So I'm putting the scissors and just turning the paper as I slowly push the scissors down. Mm 
Okay, so once you have the H and the I cut out, we're just going to put, you don't put a ton of glue, glue stick on it, just enough to hold it in place. So just, just barely any glue. You just want to hold it in place. And we want to be able to lift this up off the paper when we're done with the paint. So it's just, just to hold it in place. So I'm just doing that, like a tiny dot, and sticking it down the center. I want to make sure this is centered, so I'm just going to move it a, a smidge to the right. So, so this is the front of the card, uh-huh. Just with a tiny amount, just, just a barely, just like a little, little dot, because you want to pull it off when we're done. Yeah, that's, that's enough. All right, so it looks like we're ready to move on to the, to the dotting part. So, for this part, you don't want to get too much paint on the end of the golf pencil. So if you want, um, you, you might have a little bit of scrap paper from the high, and you could do a little practice run first. So just pick one color to start off with, and just, just do a little practice, because you want to make sure you don't have too much paint on there. It's kind of like a balance between having enough and not too much, and the amount of pressure that you apply. So I would just give it a few practice dots. Um, and then we're working with one color at a time. It doesn't matter what color you start with. You could start with the darker blue, the lighter teal blue, or the gray. But just do one color at a time. <clears throat> so I'm just going to start with the teal. Just get a little dab of that glue on the end of the pencil. And I'm going to start at the center and work my way out. And I do about two dabs per, per dip. And I'm going to start just kind of overlapping the dot over the letter, half on the letter and half on the cardstock. And this will make it so that you really see that it says hi. You do want the dots to overlap um, a little bit over the, the letters. So I'm just kind of doing it randomly. I'm leaving kind of enough space for the other two dots to go on there. So no like really rhyme or reason where I put it, just kind of randomly putting those dots down. It's really pretty easy to get those dots at the end of the golf pencil. Um, and I'm putting more dots in the center and kind of lessening and, and increasing the distance as I make my way out. But this is art, so if you have a different way you want to look, go for it. When you're done with the first color, um, you could just use a foil to kind of get that color off. Um, and then dip it in the second color. I'm going to go with the the blue for the second color. And again, just going to start in the center and then work out. You can overlap the dots if you want. Just be careful when you're doing this not to get your hand in dots that are still uh, wet because it'll smear the paint. We did this technique a few years ago when he made a tote bag. So I don't know if you were, remember that class, but this could be done for other projects. I just thought it'd be fun to, to do this with a card. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's different, huh? Okay. So just make sure you kind of get a decent amount of dots on the high itself because you want to see that it says hi, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm dotting over the, the high. 
uh, concentrate more where the high is because you want to see that it says that. I so I'm kind of overlapping a lot in the center there. Okay, so after you're done with your dotting, we're just gonna set this aside while we work on our next card and let it dry, because we don't wanna peel off the letters when it's still wet. So just set it aside somewhere where it's not gonna get in the way, you're not gonna touch it or you know smear the paint. I'm just gonna put it on the corner over here where I'm not gonna touch it. Okay. So just set aside, when you're done with the, with the dots, just set aside the paint and the card itself off to the side where it's not going to be in the way. And we'll come back to it. Okay, thank you for your patience while I was passing the supplies out for the next card. Um, so the next card is a happy birthday card. Okay. So this is the next card that we're going to be making. Um, so I just pre-printed on the computer the design and the words happy, 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 happy birthday. Um, so this is going to just, we're going to be using a little bit of scissor technique with this card. But let's um, start off with the first step. So you're just going to take this card stock that has the words um, pre-printed on here. Now, if you don't, if you're watching this at home, you can use a stamp um, or you know, decoupage letters on there from a magazine or something, or even just hand write it in, or just leave it blank on the front. Um, so just fold it in half. So of course, like the the front of the card is going to be where it says Happy Birthday. And then, you know, if you want to use your golf pencil, you can go ahead and do that, but we're just going to do, you see this, how it's a wavy line that I cut? So it's a wave. So almost like a curve of a back or something, how it, it goes, curves and goes in and goes out again. So it's hard to see with the hearts over it, so I'll turn it this way so you can see. There's a curve there. So you don't want to cut beyond the happy birthday. Um, you're going to, so this is kind of um, up to your creativity and your, um, how you want to cut it. But since you have the golf pencil, if you want to sketch on before cutting, go ahead and do that and just draw on a wave with your golf pencil. Okay, and I'm gonna cut it out so you can see. It's not halfway, it's about a third in where I start cutting. It doesn't have to be exact for, for you, but this is what I'm, my wave looks like. Okay, so like that. You see that? I'll walk around and show you kind of what I did, but you could make it a little different if you want. You could do, you know, zigzag or, or scalloping, but I just did like one simple, you know, almost like an ocean wave, a calm ocean wave, like that. Just kind of freehand? Yeah, okay. you freehand it. Uh -huh. You could sketch it on or just start cutting. You good? Okay, everyone has their wave on, huh? Some of you um, did more waves or less waves, but you know, it really, however you want it to look, <laughs> is fine. It's um, um, just with art, you can, um, of course, modify it how you want and, um, and uh, use your own creativity. 
So this is just kind of a model to go off of, but if you want to add your own stuff, that feel free. Okay, so the next step is you're going to get your glue stick and you're going to put glue stick all along one side of this green cardstock. So I'm just starting at the, the edges and going over it a few times to make sure it's really gonna stick down. And just go over the center a little bit. Then you're going to go where the crease of the card is and you're just going to tuck that green cardstock up against that crease and centered in that crease area. Smooth down with your hands. So that's the green cardstock is down right there. You close it card, you could see that green cardstock peeking out. Um, so with my sample card, I actually did a little balloon stamp there. Um, but I didn't really like how it turned out. It looks kind of um, faded. I don't think it had enough ink on it. So, you know, feel free to add a sticker there or anything you like, a stamp, or leave it blank. Um, and if you write a message, you might want to just, you could even write um, a message going down vertically or kind of get creative and think about how you want to use that space. Okay, so the next step, we have this little heart template and the shiny heart, um, uh, what we're gonna be using for the heart cardstock. So you're going to just cut out your heart and we're going to use that as a, our template. So have the heart cut out. So on this shiny cardstock, we're going to be cutting our four hearts from this. And you're going to use your golf pencil to trace the heart over this cardstock. But instead of tracing on the shiny side, you're going to turn it on the, the dull side. Uh, so you don't see the trace lines when you cut. And just trace uh, four hearts on that the back side or the, the dull side of that pink card stock. I'm just holding the heart in place with my fingers and tracing along the edge. So just do that four times. There you go. Then cut them out. Um, I like to cut cut out the uh, the surrounding area first, so it's in four sections. And it's easier to work with that way. And when I cut, it, I find it easier to turn the paper to get uh, nicer straight edges. And it just seems to go a lot faster when I, when I turn the paper as I cut instead of moving the scissors. One.
Okay, so are are you um, most of you done cutting out the hearts? Um, so how I, I staggered the hearts, you could see some are kind of going a little t going to the right, some are going to the left. So it kind of gives it a little um, interest with them going a little bit off centered. Um, of course. It's up to your, your, your taste as well, so you can place the hearts how you like them. Um, but before we use the pop, the pop dots to stick them on the card, a good idea is just to kind of place them down and see, get an idea of where you want to put them before securing it to the page, to the card. Um, just kind of put it down and see what you like. So, then the pop dots are very little. It's just this little <laughs> um, square, and that's actually four. It's about, geez, like only a half inch, and there's four little pop dots on that little um, square. It's um, double sided, so you just kind of bend it in the center with your fingers and pull, and it just comes off. And you're going to stick that pop that dot down on the, the edge of your card and then peel off the top layer um, so that the, the uh, top sticky side is, is um, exposed. And then put that heart down where you want it. Just peel off your second pop dot and put it down at the edge. Peel off the second layer. I know it's a little, little hard to, to work with, so it's so tiny. So I'll go around and help if you're having some trouble getting those pop dots. They're so little, I know. It helps if you have a little bit of nail to, to get that off. And I, I just cut my nails yesterday, darn it. <laughs> so are you putting it on the so I'm putting the pop dot down on the card first, then I'm peeling off the second layer and then sticking the heart down on it. I find that's the easiest way to do it for me. Um, and then there, you have your finished card. So I'll walk around and help people with those pop dots. I know they're a little tricky. Kind of reminds me of Valentine's, huh? <laughs> Making a little Valentine. It's cute. It looks great. Yep. Okay, so the, it looks like you all finished or are finishing up with the second card. We still have that first card. I'm just going to leave it till the very end to make sure they're, they're really dry, even though they're probably pretty close right now. Um, and then at the end, I'll pass out the envelopes that you need for all three cards. I have those up here. So this is the, the third and final card. It says lots of love. So it's just kind of like a thinking of you. Could be kind of any occasion card. Um, and this is, we're layering um, different uh, colors of cardstock. Also using scissors to get different angles to give it some um, dimension. And I have these um, sequins that we're going to be adding to the front of it. And I stamped on that lots of love with the little flowers on each one, blank inside. So I'll pass out all the paper and the cardstock for this. Okay, all right, so um, everyone should have a white piece of cardstock. The blue one that says lots of love and those three strips of paper. Okay, so what we're gonna do first, like I guess with most cards, is these actually have um, a crease already in it, so it's easier to follow. You're just gonna fold it in, the, in half. Okay. Then you're gonna take your glue stick and you're going to glue all along the, the back side of this blue cardstock. And the back side is the side op that's opposite of the stamp. So don't glue the stamp side, glue the, the side that's blank. 
just putting a, a generous amount of glue stick along the, the edges so they don't peel off. I do a little bit on the inside. I do an X. I don't know, X marks the spot. <laughs> I don't know why. You can do whatever. A smiley face. Okay. So then you put that just kind of on the center, on the front of the card. There's going to be a little bit overlap of white, just as a slight, a little border. And just smooth down with your hand. Yeah, so you're gonna glue, uh, use your glue stick to glue that blue cardstock on the front of the card. And I have the Lots of Love stamp at the, the bottom right side of the card, the front bottom right side. Okay. I'll just give you guys a few minutes to, to get that done. So just have the, the blue card stock on the outside front of the card. Okay, so when you're done with that, you get your, your um, you know, it really doesn't matter the order, but I did my order teal, blue, and pink. So if you like that order, then uh, go ahead and follow along with me, or you can switch up the colors. But if you want the blue in the center, then get your blue strip, and we're just going to glue that in the center of the card. So just get your glue stick and put it all along the back of that blue strip. And stick that down on the front center of the card on top of the Lots of Love side, right there, the front. So this is the front of the card. If your blue cardstock is a little long, you can just trim it a bit. I think mine's a little long. So they might all be, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna trim it. This class is once a month, yeah. yeah. Okay, so then you're going to get your pink strip and you see how I have it kind of at an angle going down? So how I did that is I just kind of um, similar to how we were cutting the wave with the second card. It's not going to be a wave, but you're just going to start at one corner and you're just going to cut at a slight angle down. So you're going to cut a little wedge out of that card stock. Okay, so we got the, the wedge-like shape, or whatever shape you have going on is however you want. So we're going to overlap the, the pink over the blue a little bit. So you see how that blue strip, but when I overlap the pink, it looks like it has a wedge too. But it's just covering it up a bit. So you're going to get your pink wedge and just overlap it over the center purpley blue color. So I did this on the bottom. You could do it on the top if you like. So just get your glue stick and put glue all along the back side. Voila. And stick it down. If you have any imperfections that you don't like, we're gonna put some sequins on. You could cover it up with sequins. Okay, so after you glue that, that pink piece of cardstock, we're going to get the, the teal color. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm just gonna cut 
See for here, I, I just did a little cut out of the corner there. So I'm just gonna get my scissors and I, I started just kind of the corner there and just cut out a wedge. It's not an exact science, so it's kind of up to you exactly how you want this to, to look, but I just did the, um, a little bit of a, a, a slighter cut than with a pink one to make it a little uh, thicker wedge. And then you just get your glue stick and glue it on. Same thing, it just kind of overlapped over the, the, the blue paper a little bit, the center blue paper. Okay. So I'll go around and see if any of you have questions or need any help. In the meantime, I'm going to be getting my giant bag of sequins and giving you a little handful of sequins to pick from to use for embellishments. So um, just take, take, pick out the sequence that you like, place it where you want it on the card, kind of get an idea how you want it to look and then, and then glue it down. Um, I, did, I did flower shapes on mine and some circular shapes, but there's a variety of shapes in here. So whatever you want to use, um, you know, go for that, go for it. Um, there's some leaves in here. <clears throat> and then you just get your glue stick. And for this, uh, to put the sequins down on the cardstock, we're going to need a generous amount of glue stick on there. So I'm just going to kind of go in on the edge and just kind of use the sequins to cut out a chunk of glue stick. Um, and then get that chunk on there and just stick it down with the chunk that you cut out with the, because the, the edges are, have a little bit of sh sharpness to it. So you could actually use that to, to, to get out a little, to gouge out a little bit of that glue stick. Or if you find it easier, you don't mind getting your hands a little dirty, just use your nail and scrape out some of the top of the glue stick and put that glob down where you want it. That'll ensure that, that they're going to stick down. Because if you just, if you just um, rub it on there, it might not be enough. So just make sure you get a kind of a chunk of glue stick on there. Um, so I'll walk around with the sequins now. We'll do that. So if you get, if the glue kind of spills out over the edge, you could just use your fingernail and scrape off the excess glue. Um, you know, if you do this at home or if anyone's watching at home, you don't have to use glue stick. You could actually use Elmer's glue or tacky glue. Um, I was going to use tacky glue, but I really couldn't get the, ca the cap open. I was running under hot water and everything. so. It's just not possible. You could use a pop-up, yeah. Uh-huh. So. Or glue dots. Mm-hmm. Any way you can get a stick. Hot glue gun. Uh, <laughs> but can't really think of anything else. Okay. So I really like the shine that the sequins add. Okay, so we have our two cards here, the heart and the sequins. Um, those are done, or you guys are finishing up. And for the high, we can come back to that. It's probably dry. And we're just going to um, first just kind of look and make sure that it doesn't look shiny. They should all be dry at this point. And then just gently peel up the letters. Um, and then 
if you have the dots overlapping the letters in the cardstock, you should be able to see, hi. Doo -doo. If you can't quite see it, maybe we could just go over it with, um, you know, like a fine Sharpie or something to outline the letters. Um, Hi. Uh, okay. Okay, right, so I'm gonna go around and just uh, see if anyone has any questions. But if you're done, um, that's it. And thank you so much for coming. And um, it was nice to see all of you again. I hope to see you next month. I'll be doing these classes every month in person now. Yeah. Oh, you guys are so sweet. <laughs>